Get ready for an intense painting session because we are on a time crunch. Chop chop, let's go! Hello friends, I'm Crystal and I am about to bombard you with some last minute painting. I am painting these as gifts for my three water polo coaches. I am almost done with the lion, did part of a sketch for Tigger. I also have a completely empty canvas still wrapped in its plastic. This one is for my coach who doesn't really do favorites and thinks that he is old. First of all, you are never too old for a favorite character. Second of all, he's not old, he's ancient. 30 years old is pretty prehistoric to me. So I cut the chase and asked him what he would like as a painting and was completely ignored. The next message he sent was almost a month later. Well then. I'm just kidding, I love you coach, please don't kill me. Anyway, since I get to choose what to paint for him, I thought something to do with water would be good because, you know, he coaches water polo which means he's around water pretty often. I'm a genius! At first I was going to paint him a fish but they are too complicated. So I looked up an easy sea turtle painting and decided to copy the water from this one and the sea life from this one. I always sketch before I actually paint and I decided to finish Tigger up first. Here's a reference that I use. I am not one of the people who can just draw things straight out of my head. If you can, kudos to you, that's amazing. Here's a finished sketch of Tigger. Now I am starting on the turtle sketch. Here are the little fishies and the plants. I am hunching over the canvas and making myself shorter than I already am. And this is the end sketch. I did these sketches the night of May 19th. For this endeavor, I'm wearing clothes that I don't mind getting dirty. The P on my shirt stands for procrastinator. <laughs> Just kidding. It was actually for a senior mob shot. Since there's already paint on it, a little more won't hurt. For my bottom, surprise surprise, I'm wearing pajama pants. I got these from Abercrombie about 4 years ago. It is a lot more stretched out now than it was when it was brand new, but it is still quite comfortable. Now for the painting part. I will be using these watercolors from Crafts for All. Yes, even for you. One nice thing about watercolors is that you don't need to worry as much about blending or shading because if you want the color to be lighter, add more water. If you want it to be darker, add more paint. And it was here that I already messed up. I forgot that the first step is putting a very thin and diluted layer of the lightest color on the parts that we are painting. But since we are using watercolors, we don't need to panic. All we have to do is wet a paper towel and wipe away the mistakes. This is great for me because I always mess up. Most mistakes in life are not reversible, but these are. I learned those tips from a YouTube video, so it has to be true. Just kidding, don't believe everything on the internet, boys and girls. I usually don't paint unless it's for a school project or a gift. The last school project that I painted for was a lantern for my Vietnamese class, but in this case it's three gifts for my three water polo coaches. I am not really happy with how this is looking. Another beautiful thing about watercolors is that you can quickly cover large portions of canvas in a short amount of time. If you are interested in getting the same supplies, I will be including the links to them in the description area. This video is not sponsored, but if you guys would like to purchase anything, it does help if you buy items through my links because I get a small commission from it, which is basically a fancy way of saying that they give me a bit of money at no extra cost to you. Don't feel pressured to buy anything though. We're supposed to have our banquet on March 20th, but because of quarantine, it got canceled. And so we're having an online banquet instead this Friday, May 22nd at 7.30, which is about 56 hours from now. One would think that in the past two months, I would have finished these paintings, but as you can see, that is not the case. Now I am adding in the different shades. I would just like to say that I have never taken any painting classes, unless you count the few YouTube videos that I have watched. So I am probably using the wrong techniques, but I made it in the end so that's all that matters. This week has been pretty packed. I just finished my last AP test yesterday and it feels really weird that I won't have to worry about them anymore, but now that it's over I can focus on other things like these paintings. I also need to finish editing my banana bread video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. 
It's a top secret recipe from yours truly. And then I also need to put together the scrapbook binder thing from one of my coaches. So I still have a lot more to do. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. As I use more colors, I turn into Paintbrush Wolverine. I like to have different colors on each brush because it makes it easier for me to blend the colors together. Now I am outlining Tigger. I think I know. It is time to make Tigger look more festive by adding little confettis and sprinkles around him. I did this by flicking the brush over the canvas using the leftover paint. Now more than ever, the broken pieces fit. Scars and confetti, sawmill and Pontiac clips. I can't fall Then I took a break and exercised with my teammates. Here I am blending in with the curtains. Just call me a chameleon. If you would like to see more of my workouts, I put them in my Instagram highlights at Crystal Liz Life. After working out, I edited my banana bread recipe video and by the time I was done with it, it was 10 p.m. so I went to sleep. It's Thursday afternoon. The progress on Tigger is still the same. All I need to do is add in the stripes and the face. using my old calculus homework to test out the colors. This is a prime example of how math can be applied to daily life. Did you see what I did there? Prime example? If you don't get it now, you will once you take calculus. Sorry, I was kind of a math nerd before senioritis hit me. Now I am painting Tigger's signature stripes. So I finished the Tigger painting around 3 o'clock and I started working out with my friends around 3.30. Then I did homework, then I ate dinner, and then I did more homework, took a shower, and it's already 11.11. Where'd all my time go? Anyways, if I do the last painting now, I'm going to be pulling an all-nighter. And believe it or not, I haven't pulled an all-nighter since preschool. My leg was really hurting that night. And let's just say that little four-year-old me had a very vivid imagination. I literally saw monsters everywhere. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's just textbooks. Still scary, though. So I'm going to dry my hair, go to sleep, and hope things turn out well tomorrow. Good night, guys. Okay, I'm going to end part one of the painting series now. If I included all the paintings, this video would be over 20 minutes long and people can barely finish watching a two minute video. If you are still watching, I love you. Thank you so much and hopefully I'll see you in part two of my painting series next Thursday. Bye!